Our war is going strong. Paris has a lot of smaller titles in it to be taken. So it will take a while to fully besiege it. There's one little trick you could do if you want to see a little bit more around. Wake him up. You could use your spy somewhere here to still do his job. But he, as opposed to all your other counselors, has actually a view range of two. It doesn't just see the county he's in, but also everything that kind of connects to it. That way you can create viewports and lines of vision that help you in your war efforts. We'll just keep on sieging here. I'm not entirely sure. Oh no, he's a he's a bad dog again. Let's go for another hunt. All stable master and courtier are in some animated discussion. And she's happy that I interfered. Mysterious man has reached my court. He claims to be a renowned scholar from a place far away. He was cast out by his people for his unyielding devotion to Lonage. She hopes that, that a prestigious patron of the arts such as myself would have a greater foresight than his previous liege. Well, sure. I mean, he's a heretic. He's a Catholic heretic. He's a mystic. Not bad. All scholars are welcome on my court. That's true. That's true. Oh, he's sieging us now. We will not stand for such, and we will scout ahead, finding the best angle of attack. It's not a liege, it's not Riam, it's not Brie, it is not Amiens, it is not... Not what? There seems to be no connection without crossing a river, so... Okay, we'll have to take that malice as we go now. So we've sieged everything but one thing, because that belongs to the Saxon, and we're not at war with the Saxons. We can't take that. Make sure we have the best possible soldiers in charge here, and indeed we do. Doesn't mean they're actually the best soldiers, but the best possible for this. Since we're fighting across a river, which might be hard. Oh! Our center broke. How did that happen? There are many legends about the grand man whose blood I share. A particular story has been circulating in Kurt lately. It focuses on an epic feat where male pettier proves the strength of character. The more I hear, the more I want to emulate him. So we, sh we can become lustful. Sure, why not? Let's strive to be more like him. So this is really bad. This is really bad. What happened there? The commander didn't die. It just broke. Let's get a new court physician in there. And it shall be our new friend and mystic here. And the keeper of swans shall be this lady. The Lionheart. Wait, wasn't she a queen? Oh no, she's a queen. The lion, not the lion heart. So we might lose this one, interesting. Oh, they have a really good commander here. Ah, uh, barely a chance. Let's see how we deal. Oh, 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 this was a close one. This was the power of good commanders in action. That was a really good showcase of why good commanders are a real, real important piece of the puzzle in wars. Man, I'm impressed. Quite impressed. Both with their men and with my own. Wasn't an easy battle. Could have gone much worse. But we persevered. Okay. 
He wishes for a white piece, which he shall not have. We will imprison you and eventually kill you. Ooh, my grandson is a powerful vassal. He has come of age and he would like to have a job. Who needs replacing? My counselor. Let's see. Is my grandson a loyalist? No, he is not. But I can aff wait. Let's check this first. When? Not in a civil war. I got them. Why do we always... No, go away. We shall be taken. So, battles against him are much more useful for gaining points in war score than sieging. So, let's have more battles with him. Bit of a shame. I don't want to decrease him fully. Where did he get the knights over there? If interesting. Let's go get that army before they can do anything bad to us. We might have raised those against someone else. Some tech points. He's he's collecting his army here. This army goes somewhere else. Wow. Spies collecting technology like crazy. Might cut him. Are we gonna? Yeah, we did. Nice. Very fortunate turn of events here. Where? There. Alright. They're all prisoners anyway. <laughs> now, we'll try to get him back. Not encourage him to kill. Looks like we need to send our own troops in this. Which we shall. Let's get some slightly better leaders going for this. At the very least. Our best military minds are fighting down here. Wow, he is a beast collecting that technology. I think he might go to Paris. Oh. Further, th uh, further south. We'll just follow him around. I think that, that way we get... ...to win a little bit quicker. Uh, sure. And advance in our society. Let's do that. Ooh. Gives us the power to convert a county. That's, that's not bad. Alright. Back to battle we go. But only with 15 men. Oh no. Oh yeah. What? Fine, we'll we'll meet you on the field of battle over here. And I am converted. Uh they're, they're promoted, not converted. And those accursed rebels have learned how to move around. I'm still not gotten used to that. Oh, look, he's landing his army here. We'll have to go fight them. Oh, dope, dope, we got the 100%. Let's do this now. Pause. You shall surrender. There we go. And my grandson is his heir. So we should be able to execute him. Well... Okay, fine. Can't really do that, so we shall give him... Shall put him in the worst possible position in terms of imprisonment. Can we do something to him? Really? 
Can we revoke his title? Alright, we could take away his titles. Doesn't really help either. We'll just leave it. And put him on our council. Right after we've changed that law that we would like to change. Abolish. Wait. Council will accept? Yes, definitely. Let's abolish the council power. I like it. A people that understands their place. Let's put down these troops. And these troops too. Let's win this. Let's get our fleet home. And we have someone doing nothing. Because he researched all the technology there is. Send him to Roma. Collecting some technology information for us. And now we may not appoint because we're waiting for them to decide on this monumental decision. <laughs> there we go. We are now an absolute ruler. The council has nothing to say anymore. So let's replace him with our powerful vassal grandson. Who's obviously better suited for other jobs, but that doesn't matter. Everyone else is a loyalist. Not that we care anymore. So we have a good chance of killing our son through a lack of kindness. How's this going? It is going. But all those usurpation things. Okay, she would like a hunting bird. She shall have a falcon. Our dear wife. Check what we can build and build it. And smith over here. Another keep level here. And some militia training grounds over here. How are we doing? For troops anyway. Okay, we provide 10,000 troops ourselves and 17,000 come from our vassals. We've grown fairly strong. Blessed has passed. Same. I don't think we're ever going to make a friend. I burn my own son at the stake. Well, I'm, I'm not great with my kids, it seems. We're quite old. Quite old. So, we need to be a little bit careful with what we do. Can I convert this province? Yeah, I could, but I don't have enough points. Not enough devotion yet. Right. Okay. All right, okay. Let's check that we don't have any vassal troops raised anymore anymore. Ah, yeah, perfect. He has done his converting job and he needs to go back where he already was. So many heresies these days. They're everywhere. Oh wow, he's really good. Heavy infantry leader on top of everything. Give him a wife. Shall we? 
Come on, young. Young and fertile. Let's give her this girl. There you go, commander. My marshal. Ah, then we can put our son there. So he can be a little bit better at what he does. Um, change council position. Where is it? There we go. You become my new marshal. And our chancellor shall be this guy. He's a loyalist. Loving us. That's good. How do we get rid of our son? I think we might just have to kill him. This will lower the overall opinion of everyone. Of us. But I believe it's our best our best bet. Still likes us a lot. He shouldn't. Let's do this. Just minus ten. It's fine. Don't want to usurp these titles. Our son shall have them. Or grandson rather. He doesn't like us, which is understandable. We're a tyrant. And a kinslayer. It's understandable. He was baptized by the Pope and crowned by the Pope. He's a good one. He's a good one in waiting. And he wants to fabricate a title on a duchy. Monthly prestige. We don't need that. Let's not make a fuss. Really don't want to usurp those titles. End your plot? No. Right. So we have put a very young ruler in succession. Which is good for us. Because that way we'll have a long rule ahead of us. We have a decent rule ahead of us. That's all quite nice. Oh yeah, let's let's have a friend. Fulfilled our ambition there, right toward the end. Now let's see if we can't make this realm prosper for once. For once, not start any wars. We're going to have to give away so many titles when our son inherits. Not even funny. How are these places coming along? Nicely. Quite nicely indeed. Heavy infantry defense. I wonder if it's for everyone or just these. Oh well. Let's go up to our technology level. See what we could upgrade. Majesty. Higher court size. Less short reign. Kingdom vice royalties. Those are a fun thing because a vice royalty is something that passes back to you upon their death. They can't give a vice royalty through inheritance to their sons or daughters. Oh yeah. Sure. Build that thing. Maybe you can build something that actually works this time. As opposed to what your father tried. Hanged, drawn and quartered on my orders. Ouch. Right. 
Right, okay. We're doing okay. I believe. It's not great what you need to do at the end of your life, generally, to keep everything in order. Ow, of course. He failed with his armored chariot as well. Let's see if he also loses a leg like his father did. Now he's just wounded. <laughs> oh, man. And it quickly vanished. He is now scarred, which isn't bad. Not a bad trait to have. Only feels... Eh, he can go up to 9,000 once she's fully up. Okay. Doesn't have children yet. Better get some children. He's a good one too. Strong and Midas touched. You better get her pregnant. Get her pregnant soon. You hear me? You hear me? Give me more heirs. But things are being built. Let's go take care of those raiders. Build some castle fortifications around here so they feel less inclined to come here all the time. It's upgrading these further doesn't help us. Not at all, really. Because they don't go up in level. There we go. The first thing we want is more castle town for more money. So now we're in a pretty stable position, really. There's not much that's going to happen until we die. So we might as well play around a little bit with our focus. I believe we might be able to change it once more. Let's go for a bit of scholarship. We've never really done that. And once you adopt scholarship, you are allowed to go ahead and build an observatory. Which then starts an event chain. Which then, eventually, allows you some cool stuff to happen. And we're always up for cool stuff to happen. Let's get some good commanders in here. No troops sit. Replenish. We could build up a higher retinue, but, but why? It just costs gold. So, where where is all our gold going anyway? All right. Advice on your poetry. Right. You have aspects of the faith mi missing. Let's let's have more faith aspects. Let's go teach our son. Let's give some spiritual guidance and check his traits before we do. And he has lost his wrath. Which isn't super great, but also not bad. Ooh. The Pope will grant us absolution for our sins of kinslain. A hundred piety and fifty gold. I am definitely on my knees saying Ave Marias. Thank you. Thank you for helping me here. We don't want to expose them. <laughs> we could steal her writings. But we're not gonna. We're just going to give her some gold and tell her that she's great. At what she does. You should be proud. Oh, there's so much stuff going on here. Okay. Let's see what the future holds in the future. <laughs>